And what's up everybody and this is Danny taking a look at iOS 7 and I'm going to demo this on the iPad mini and this is beta 2 and the first thing you'll notice is that Apple icon is a lot bigger this time around. So let's get started and onto the right corner here you can see there's a shortcut to the camera and that was there before but it looks a little cleaner now and you have your short toggles right there if you swipe up and if you swipe to the right it unlocks your screen so swipe up from the bottom to get to control center and it does have a lot of different toggles here some shortcuts and your brightness slider it has Wi-Fi Bluetooth and airplane mode and also has your music stuff and if you swipe down your notification shade is there now but it fills the entire screen and your calendar also gets a rework here and I like the way it looks very simplistic and your year view and your monthly and all that's there too and it's very simplistic doesn't really add much functionality here but it's pretty much a visual overhaul but it looks nice nonetheless so I'm interested to see what they're going to do in the further betas to add extra functionality to the calendar app. And the clock is also live right there. You can see that the clock is updating live. And your photos are being grouped by moments and different things with geotagging. So it looks nice with that white UI. And you also see that the contacts icon is different too. So icons are changing. They're adding some different icons in every beta. And let's take a look at the camera app. And the camera app is largely unchanged from the beta one on your iPhone 5 or iPod Touch 5th generation. And you can swipe to get that square view and go to video. And if you touch the top you go to your front facing camera but the one thing you're going to notice is there's no live filters on the iPad mini so I don't know if that's on the other iPads or not I haven't seen it but it's definitely missing from this so let me know in the comments below and of course you have Siri and Siri gets a visual overhaul here and it works just like it does on the iPod Touch 5th generation or your iPhone 5. You and it does get a few new tricks. Uh, it knows how to turn on Bluetooth and turn on Wi-Fi and do a few different things. But in this beta, it knows how to pronounce names. Or you can teach it how to pronounce names. Okay, how do you pronounce that first name? I couldn't get it working on the iPad mini, so I had to show it off on the iPod Touch 5th generation. So iTunes Radio is here too as well with a little bit of a different visual look and it's more simplified. I don't know why that they're not taking the real estate of the iPad screen to maximize the UI or to give it some more functionality, but this is only beta 2, so let's see what they do with it. All your controls are at up the top right there with the little strip on the top it has it's not like the iPod touch fifth generation which is right here or your iPhone 5 where if you flip it to portrait mode you get album art and everything like that I don't know why this is not working on the iPad but let's see what they do as they progress for this is the very first beta and very first look at the iOS 7 software on the iPad and of course turning it to portrait does nothing because I thought maybe that's what it would take to turn it into another UI but doesn't do that and another thing about the music app too is that on your iPhone 5 or iPod touch when you flip it into landscape mode you get this cool cover flow mosaic tile look to it but for some reason you don't get that on the iPad UI so I'm just a little baffled by this but of course this is beta 2 like I was saying so let's see how the betas progress and subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of the progressions of the betas and the maps looks really good on the extra real estate and you can see it's a little sluggish on the iPad mini but I think that has to do with the hardware uh, for I've seen some fourth generation iPads run it a lot faster and generally runs better on the iPhone 5 as well compared to the iPod touch fifth generation but I do like the revamp here and the only thing you're going to notice is that when you go into satellite view you get this gray bars on the top and bottom so you can see how the UI is starting to switch a little bit they're trying to make some UI changes and some visual changes and it works pretty good so far yeah some checkerboarding here and there but of course this is a beta but it's pretty fluid and it looks really good on the iPad screen 
and there is a new icon right there photo booth and it's the photo booth that you either love or hate with a simplified UI so a lot of different effects and things like that so you can take selfies and do stupid pictures that really nobody wants to see but there it is right there so you can shoot away with the new iPad iOS 7 software and of course multitasking is here it looks really fluid on here and I think the animation might be a little bit smoother than it is on the iPod Touch 5th generation and of course you flick the cards away webOS style and it does take multiple finger inputs there so if you put two fingers or three fingers up you can swipe away as many apps as you want to but pretty fluid there and of course your hand gestures are here your pinch your swipe with five fingers different things and your keyboard also is splittable like it was before and you can also put it back together if you want to and that keyboard takes the color of whatever the background it is so if you're on a white UI then the keyboard will be white just swipe down anywhere on the screen to get to universal search by the way as I just demonstrated and this 3d parallax thing is here uh, it's kinda hard to pick up on camera but that 3d effect it is there and your web browsing is pretty good so far it's actually pretty fluid on this beta not bad and you see that Safari gets a new look and it gets some changes under the hood it renders pretty quickly but if you're looking for this uh, chrome style switcher here uh, this tabbing you're not gonna get it like you have it on the iPhone 5 and the iPod touch fifth generation I don't know why that doesn't exist but once again this is the first beta and here you get the new folders as well you can put as many icons as you want into the folder and new stand is revamped so it looks really good on this larger real estate screen and you can see that new stand is in a folder so is that a big win for a lot of people it is game center also gets a refresh and I haven't really used it yet but it's getting it gets a UI refresh so that's good because the old one was just really ugly and your stores your app store and your iTunes store they both look exactly the same they just get that white UI background refresh and it doesn't really have any kind of different functionality or anything but it's a welcome change it just looks fresh so overall iOS is looking pretty fresh here and there's a pretty cool thing included here uh, in the accessory section uh, that you can add and it's pretty cool it's called switches and you can add switches to different things and basically what this is is it's going to look at your head motion and you can set it to do whatever like to go home or to open Siri or whatever it may be you can do that and I think this is just a hint maybe of gesture control on iOS but this is really just set for accessory for now and the email app also gets a just a clean white UI refresh nothing really different about this at all but when you're in portrait mode you do get those nice swipe gestures that also make it a little bit easier kind of similar to Gmail that you would see on Android so there it goes this is the quick look at iOS 7 running on the iPad mini it does run a little bit sluggish because of the slower hardware but I think as time gets optimized and the software gets optimized it's gonna run fairly well so what do you guys think about iOS 7 on the iPad I think it looks pretty good hopefully they do some more customization so I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching